Welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV, where we bring you the latest. Here's what we have in the news. 82-year-old man killed, deportee woman from Cayman, charged for murder, Clarendon Farmer killed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Now for the news. A farmer from St. Elizabeth was discovered deceased at his house on Thursday morning. He is 82-year-old farmer Stanford Baker, also known as Fod, from Mount Plinot, Leeds, St. Elizabeth. Baker's family reportedly started hunting for him when they last saw him on Wednesday, according to the police. The senior citizen's body was discovered in a shed in his yard with the assistance of the police who were called to the scene. Mr. Baker's throat had been sliced. It was discovered when processing the scene. Next in the news, Jamaican woman deported from Cayman after being sought for murder. After being apprehended in Cayman on Sunday, a 20-year-old woman wanted for the death of a man in Jonestown, Kingston, was returned to Jamaica on Thursday. Since then, Denham Town residents Ashley Williams had been accused of killing David Rowe, 47, a bearer of Septimus Street in Jonestown. Giovanni Thompson, a second suspect in the crime, who is 22 years old, has also been charged. According to the police, Mr. Rowe was at his home on Septimus Street on November 30, 2017, when he was approached by Mr. Thompson and his girlfriend, Miss Williams. It is claimed that the defendant drew a knife during an argument and stabbed Mr. Rowe numerous times. Mr. Thompson then drew a prohibited weapon and opened fire at the wounded person. Later, a hospital declared him dead. One of the alleged suspects was apprehended by police in Manchester last month during an operation. Also in the news, a Clarendon farmer was shot and killed. A farmer was killed by gunmen who opened fire in Clarendon early on Friday. 25-year-old Comfort Area resident Nicholas Williams was reportedly cycling along the Comfort Main Road at around 9.30 when two males in a silver Toyota Mark X motor vehicle pulled up next to him. The residents started shooting strike Mr. Williams numerous times. He was taken to the hospital and later declared dead. There is no known reason behind the strike. Only six days into the year and all the killings have been reset. These people do not believe in the saying, New Year, New Rule. Let us pray for things to turn around in 2023. Guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, share my video and hit that notification.